Bloody hell. Oh my God, it looks different all of a sudden and probably sounds different as well, particularly if you're wearing headphones. This is a sofa tour. This is, in fact, the sofa of Mr. Dan Nerd Cubed. Hello. He is here as well. <laughs> and he has made for me the Nerd Cubed box number one. Does this mean you'll be doing more in the future? Every month you'll be posting front of these. Good. I look forward to selling the contents on eBay. So, Procrastinator. That, you don't say that anymore, do you? No, that's an old statement. I can live with Sets this. Sets the tone for the box, I feel. Well, I really like this wrapping paper. Many, many blank uh, cassette tapes. A lot of them, I notice, are 120s, which you rarely got. Usually it was a C60 or a C90. Ah, uh, those were the days when you would copy your friend's Spectrum games on your dad's twin-deck tape recorder. Ah, uh, piracy. Right, let's see what's inside, then. I've got a knife ready for cuttings, and I've managed to cut it in the wrong place, so that's a great start for everybody. All right. I have literally no idea what horrors you've put in here. Right, there's a pin badge. I do like a nice pin badge. Nerd Cube Box, December 2017. Oh, look at that. I'm going to wear this now. That's a lie. I'm going to put it over here. That's really nice, actually. Proper metal and thing. Isn't your logo different now, though? Yes. <laughs> well, that's out of date already. <laughs> that's a typical Luke Ray thing. Right, black paper revealing... Oh, my God! LOL, surprise, charm fizz. I'm confused by the existence of this. Right. Dunkin' water for a surprise. Yep, it just released toxic gas and kills you. And there's a bigger one with a scary baby Funko Pop monster in it. Lil Sisters, 45 plus to collect. That's not going to happen. Oh, this isn't a fizz, though, to be fair. That is a plastic, right? And there's a huge one as well. What is... And what is going on with the design? This is like... Some sort of Funko Pop knockoff doll thing, maybe? Yes? I'm confused by this. Right. I was guessing there was going to be some sort of fizzing thing because I have been handed beforehand a tray featuring a bowl of water. High tech. <laughs> right, so I'm going to have to remove this, presumably, using the power of the knife again, I think. Oh man, this is awkward. Get on. I'd like to point out that little thing there. I think it was four pounds. This was four pounds? Can you have a confirm? Uh, yeah, three ninety nine. Blimey. Just want you to know that for when you see what's inside it. Right. Well, I'm excited already. <clears throat> <laughs> Do you have to take it out of the... Uh... Yes. Oh. <laughs> we love that part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> man, this is, this is like a higher security on it than some vaults. Is it because what's inside is completely horrific? Let's find out soon. Right, we're nearly there. There's something sellotaped to its arse. What is going on? This is the most bizarre thing. Right. Ready, steady. That's like that plastic packaging up as well. Oh, <laughs> you are kidding me. That's exactly what I did. Oh, my giddy aunt. Right. <clears throat> If this isn't the greatest thing that's ever been produced in the history of humanity, uh, then, frankly, I won't be surprised at all, but... Uh, 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 why is everything so hard? Is this, this for children? Yes. How are children supposed to be doing this? There we are. I shall just uh, clean my hands as if it's one of those bowls with a little bit of lemon in that you get in nice restaurants. Right, well, it's fizzing. I think we may have to jump cut to when it's done. <laughs> can look at the stickers. Look at the stickers that came out of it. But they're shite. <laughs> That's why you look at them. Look at it. There's a cat's <laughs> decapitated head on a barber's pole and a little heart. Place sticker on charm. Now I'm going to place sticker in bin where it deserves to live. <laughs> I'll definitely have to cut to this next bit. I think. <laughs> Why isn't it fizzing? Why isn't it doing anything? It's just sitting there like the world's most out-of-date Alka-Seltzer. So, after all that, we've got what appears to be a load of fast food french fries with a mug handle and this. What even is this? Oh, I see, so you, you connect... Right, so that connects to that. And then you can put it on your keys. Maybe? This was four pounds? Do people collect these? Yes. For ludicrous amounts of money. 
Is this a rare one? It doesn't look like it. That's that's. I don't think <clears throat> any of them look like it. Here's how impressed I am of that on a scale of one to ten. Fuck all. Right. <clears throat> So what you're saying is you won't be subscribing to another month of the Nokia book. Well, it didn't cost me anything, and I might be able to sell it, so we'll see how that runs. Anyway, I want to see what's in this one. LOL Surprises Little Sisters. So we've already had the crap charm, so I'm presuming this is going to be the crap doll to go with it. There's a zip. There's a zip. You don't need your key. There's a, a zip. There's a zip. A zip. There's a zip. A zip. Pull here. Do that, that really hurt. Oh... Right, so that, that is now open. Pull it. There's another bloody... What? <laughs> what, is this an onion or something? What? This, this, all these things come out, they're amazing. Look, that one, what? you go work out what the riddle is. What? Diamonds are a girl's best f friend. <laughs> this is like past the parcel for cretins. What <laughs> the... <sighs> right. So every time you unsheath the another layer of the onion, more crap falls out. Oh, oh god, this time we've got bathe her to reveal a surprise. Changes colour. What? This sticker changes colour or the doll? <laughs> I'm what? <laughs> this is weird. Making my debut, it's shrieking giant eyed mutant child. Ready to dive in No, no, I am not. I will never be ready. But you know what? We're doing it anyway. Come okay, on. Final zip and Oh, there's nothing in that one. But now this does genuinely look like a cyber onion or something. This is Doctor Who's onion. Right, inside is another... B more bags! <laughs> the bloody hell is going on with this thing? Crikey. Careful, precious contents inside. There's laws about lying on packaging. Right. <sighs> so there's... Um, oh, my goodness. There's a lot of these things to collect. Bathe her to reveal a surprise. OK, fair enough. Right. We're going to start with the small one, baby steps, as it says there. And in here you've got a crap plastic key ring in a shit colour. That's absolutely amazing. In here we've got... It's dark in here. Yes, that's what you've done to our soul with your toys. What the <laughs> bloody hell is that? <laughs> this is like an incredible chibi version of one of the characters from Cloud Atlas. What? <laughs> what? Rebecca's informing us that's a really rare one. It's a really rare one. How much does that go for at the moment? That's the mini version of um, Glitter Queen. I liked it. Do you want to like... Actually, Glitter we'll Queen. Actually, we'll have a big one, and then I'll tell you the price that you think it's going for. OK, well, considering <laughs> the charm on its own was four quid, it's, oh, my God, it's got little weird shoes or something. Do the, the little ones sell? No, they... The shoes don't fit on the doll! What? What is going on? How have you got these little clog shoes that don't fit on the bloody doll? What? This is weird. And the final one... Oh, God, this has got a weird texture to it. What does it say? Careful, precious... Yeah, more lies. Right. <laughs> oh, it's a little bag. Presumably they can put the baby in it. And now the baby lives in a watermelon bag with its ridiculous oversized clogs. Right, I'm just going to stick it in the water and see what happens, because it said something about bathing it. All the glue comes off. It got wet. <laughs> <sighs> right, and you go in there, and we'll, we'll put you to one side. That was the worst thing since the last bad thing I saw. Right, now we've got a giant one. <laughs> because apparently, you can't have too many of these. Right, the little ones are like seven, eight pounds, and these ones are now like ten or eleven pounds. What? This was eight pounds or something? Seven, yeah. six or... That's insane. Absolutely <laughs> That's insane. Hang on a second. I'll just, just have a quick one on eBay for that thing there. Yeah? There it is currently worth selling for. <clears throat> that This thing is going on eBay for nearly 20 quid. Have a look at the postage. With £65 <laughs> postage. <laughs> eBay, your model is broken. People are just trying to not pay your fees That's by sticking it on there. That's sold as well. So somebody paid £80 for this? Yes. Do they didn't make enough, and it's like a Christmas toy, so everybody's trying to get them. But they're ridiculous and shite. <laughs> yes, they are. Fucking hell! This is insane. 
This is the most valuable Luke Bowie you've ever got. It genuinely is. That thing alone has made it more valuable than pretty much all the other things in this video combined, I would imagine. I haven't even filmed those bits yet. <laughs> Mic check. All right, let's peel the onion of disappointment. Oh, my God. So I suppose the idea is the kids get something to unbox and it's like multiple unboxings? Multiple items in different layers with appallingly shite stickers in? Yeah. There's some Binding of Isaac characters there, I think. That's just... <laughs> Let me out. No. You should stay in here and rot like the evil you are. All right. There's, there's nothing in that one. Right. <clears throat> Next. I don't know like the empty layers just to really upset the kids. Oh my god, what's going on now? It's like, it's, it's segmented. I'm waiting, darling. That's the most frightening thing I've ever seen. Right. Uh, 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 fun, uh, uh, no! <laughs> my fingernails hurt. <laughs> right, come on. See, every, every layer you're unraveling your thing. There's things falling out. There's pods. There's just, what, what, <laughs> what is even happening here? There's hundreds of them. There's, this is like the lament configuration from bloody Hellraiser. What? Right. I think we've got everything together. We've got the chain of uh, doom. That's that's nice. You can lock it up in a cupboard or something so it never gets out. Lol. Surprise. And what is the surprise? I don't know. I can't open the bag. Um, it's it's like like a, 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 a yes, <laughs> <laughs> a shirt maybe, maybe some jeans or so, like shorts or something. I, I I can't tell. They're rubbery and weird. All right, what's in this one? Fucking hell! <laughs> right, so. What the hell is this supposed to be, even? I genuinely don't... It's jewellery, maybe? I oh, my God. Right, this one. I can't open it! Oh, now I just wish I hadn't opened it. Sippy cup... Starbucks mug thing, I don't know. And finally, I'm presuming this is the doll. LOL surprise. LOL. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like a, a modernised version of a Cupid doll, if you remember those. Although, with the face, it looks more like somebody tried to make a sex doll of Tweety Pie. <laughs> it's absolutely horrific. I like how the head's a different skin colour to the body. <laughs> what the bloody hell is wrong with people? Look, put some bloody shorts on, that's something. There we are. Now you look like Christina Aguilera, it's marvellous. Um, Bloody wars, these are strange. Oh, I've put some wrong, hang on. You must have dressed my hideous doll correctly. <laughs> so I can't seem to get this bit on, actually. There we are. We've done it. It's like a genie with, with some coffee. <laughs> what is the, what are, These are the worst. How much was this? That was 11 pounds. 11 pounds. They used to be six and they almost doubled the price when they found that they were selling popular. Nice. Yeah. Commerce, everyone. How much debris has come out of you opening three things so far? <laughs> There's enough crap in here to like fill nine landfills <laughs> just from one bloody thing. So these are selling second hand at Christmas, presumably. Yes, for a relentlessly large amount. Should we look up how much that one is? It's Go for it. it. We're looking it up right now. Right. The producer. I'll just move this slowly into camera to terrify anybody watching. It might wee or cry or spit water out. What? Yeah, some of them, like, fire water out of their eyelids. Oh! <laughs> Presumably you have to put them in water first. Yes. Is that the explanation for the crazy mouth? I don't know. This... Well, sometimes they have the crazy mouth and they don't. I've tried to shut it away from the world. That one sells on average for about 30 30 pounds. 30 pounds. So you can buy these for 11 pounds, which seems like a rip-off, but then you can sell them for three times the price? Yes, if you can find anywhere that's selling them, because people are buying them and selling them on eBay. <laughs> Bloody! <laughs> this hurt my soul deeply. And, and there's more! <laughs> crap, horrible toys that people are clamouring over themselves in order to... Uh... Oh, look, there's like a... Uh, that's its bedroom or something, I don't know. <laughs> It's like Mork from Ork. It came down from Sky in its egg. 
This is just the worst thing. So not only are they crap, but people are falling over themselves to spend loads of money on them. What a world we live in. Just to remind everyone, so currently this is selling for £80. Because that's the glittery rare one. The glittery rare one. The big one of that goes for about 180 Oh, for... Yeah, about 180 pounds. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving swiftly on. <clears throat> I don't even want to think about that anymore. Oh, God, it's another blind thing. It's a Sum Sum. I've heard of these. These are like if your favourite characters were turned into slugs. They're very, very strange. Mystery Pack, Series 7. Right, let's guess at the characters. Don't know. Uh, that's from Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, some generic Disney rabbity thing. That's uh, Mike from Monsters University and Monsters, Inc. That's Pinocchio. That's the... Uh, I forget the name of it, but it's the monkey from Aladdin, I believe. And that's a poo. A poo. Uh, oh, yes. In fact, it's written on the back. I should have just looked. It could be any of these many things. Including Jafar's genie. There's a thing for you. Right. These are actually quite high quality, if I recall correctly. At least they would be if I could in any way open the packet. Ugh! It's a melting skull! What the bloody. Oh, it's the poison apple from Snow White! So you get a bit of a uh, <laughs> micro diorama with it as well. I'm having a little difficulty getting these things out. There we are. Oh man, that's that's pretty creepy. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks like somebody shat a skull on a mutant apple. And here is Snow White. I again can't get out of the bloody packet. Hang on. Gotcha. Snow White the hamster monster. Snow White the. Why is her bum and um, underwear so prevalent? That's that's worried me slightly. Um, so this come from Japan. Uh, do you know what? I never would have guessed. I never would have guessed in a hundred years. Uh, I mean, it's well made, but what a bizarre thing. And you've got these of, like, all the Marvel characters and Star Wars characters and... Yes, yes, we do. ...everyone who's ever lived and... <laughs> well, I mean... That was that's about three quid, that was. They're not terribly priced. Yeah, compared to the dolls, they're bargain of the bloody century. <laughs> Crikey. Mind you, I suppose you can't sell it for, like, horrifying profit to idiots, yeah. but, um, yeah. Well, that's a nicely built thing. I don't quite get the Sumsum thing, where it's kind of turned characters into weirdnesses. There's a whole comic about some, some invasion or something I saw in a shop, but I have not read it in order to comment on it. Right, next up. Oh, how about something nice to eat? Chip shop special curry sauce and chips in milk chocolate. Exclusive to Fenwick. Yeah, from we, the we chocolate. Were on, we were on the trip and we saw that and we went, you know what, let's poison that. <laughs> I'm trying to think where Fenwick is. That step uh, up north somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, there's a few of them up uh, Well, thank you for thinking of me on your holiday. <laughs> right. <sighs> Curry and chips and chocolate. I mean, they're just trying to offend the palates now, aren't they? Right. Let me get into it. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is, <laughs> this is unholy. What hast thou wrought? I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, 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 oh no. It's, well, it looks more like crisps than chips, maybe. What's the consistency? Like, no, it's a, oh, oh. This, is, this seems very wrong on many levels. Right, I'm going to eat this entire piece with the small bit of potato on it because that's apparently what I need in my life. <laughs> oh, God, it's horrible. <laughs> oh. So, the spiciness of the curry is um, relatively subtle. <laughs> it doesn't go very well with the chocolate. The potato is horrible. Um, it's not quite as bad as I was expecting. But it's still very not good. If I had to rate this out of ten, I would refuse and throw up. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's stuck in my teeth. Oh. I'm moving this out of the way now. <coughs> it's a bottle of water up there to drink. Yeah, water. let's drink some of the fizzing water. That'll help me out. Oh, instead, he's wild animals. Zeb, what the fucking <laughs> hell's happened here? It's a build your own zebra kit. <laughs> I just love that face. That's not a zebra. That's that's like a bloodborne boss. 
What the? Oh my god, so I have to build it myself out of plastocene? I'll be honest. Like I'm not busy enough. The quality of this box does vary. <laughs> <laughs> I have noticed Quite that. Wildly. I have noticed that. I can't get into this. They're making cling film and stuff more and more difficult to actually get into these days. Right. So, zebra. It's the bloodshot eyes that are freaking me out the most. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like they've carved out of the devil's goat or something, what the? Oh, that's freakish. Right, I'm going to attempt to build this. I shall now jump cut to the completed item. Well, there weren't any instructions, so I have produced this beautiful zebra, as you can see here, and it's feasting on a rotting corpse that it fished out of a pond. So uh, I think, in many ways, this is superior to the design given. It's actually less frightening, thinking about it. Hello. <laughs> right, what have we got next on the agenda of pain? Oh my god, three minifigures with... Oh my god, it's brick by brick. What the bloody hell's going on with that one? Is this a sex doll minifigure? What? What? Is, what? I've never seen ones like this. Right. So these are basically Block Tech and various other branded uh, items, all the bloody same, all made at the same place. And this is apparently three figures of a what may be a construction worker. What is an alien, of course, and what we will refer to as specimen Z. Right. I'm going to jump cut to having put these together. So. Well, it's it's the alien. He's got a very alien hat on. Possibly it's his head. It's very hard to tell at this stage. I can't get this to focus. That's uh, There we are, that'll do. Uh, it's got a gun with a hole in it and a big square weird body and it falls to bits really easy because that is the nature of these figures. Here's a happy man with a spanner. He's, he's going to fix or build something. And Specimen Z, whose name must never be mentioned. He also has a gun with a hole in it and looks like a nutter, and has the worst haircut ever. Fantastic. Right, moving swiftly on. It's ta oh, oh, no, 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 no. This is unholy. Tikka masala in white chocolate. Tikka masala famously being the Indian curry that was like invented in Birmingham or something. But, um, a curry sauce in white chocolate. It's got lumps of chicken when you open the back. <laughs> the UK's favourite dish. No, the UK's favourite dish is tikka masala. The UK's favourite dish is not tikka masala in white fucking chocolate, guys. Oh man, you are unholy, you chocolate smiths. Um, delicious tea spices, neatly wrapped up in creamy white chocolate, like your favourite curry, but less messy, and also horrible. Marvelous. Right. Well, they do do high quality packaging. I'll give them that. I imagine the chocolate's probably quite nice before they ruin it as well. Oh, look at the amount of spice in it. Oh, my goodness. Right, here goes. Ow. <laughs> oh! Oh, no, no. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, it genuinely is tikka masala. Uh, spices and white oh it doesn't go it does not go at all there's little gritty bits getting stuck in the teeth oh I'm sorry oh man I feel like this advert for my new box isn't going very well oh if you're mass producing these you'll probably be killed by James Bond or something at the government's behest oh my crikey Oh, the aftertaste. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Oh, I wish... The, why do they keep making this confectionery for shock value? Oh, my God, right. What is in this box? Please not be edible. <laughs> what the fucking hell is that? Um, mushrooms? P disturbingly phallic mushrooms? If this isn't Japanese, I'll be very surprised, but it's got a Japanese writing on. Spiral cute. Spiral as in Uzumaki, the terrifying Junji Ito manga, and cute as in a lie. Right. Let's... So, so it could... What? Are, do you know what these things are? 
flatworms? I, I, I like them because they look a bit rude. <laughs> they certainly do. <laughs> oh my god, I've got a granddad one holding a sword, like a samurai or something. What? Oh my god, hang on. Come on, you will come out. Yay! It's the ultimate key ring, a suction cup mushroom thing with a giant moustache and a katana. It's... Uh, uh, I don't understand. I do not understand at all. It's not quite nicely produced, but as to what it's supposed to be, or indeed why it's supposed to be, I haven't got a bloody clue. That can go and live over there and frighten somebody else later. And is this the last thing? No, two things. Oh. Mega rocket! <laughs> can be flown up to a massive 30 foot. 41 inches long. Oi, oi. Easy to use, simple to assemble, works indoors and outdoors. If nothing says, yay, children, like an inflatable rocket. If your child isn't making ICBMs by the age of six, <laughs> you know you've been bringing him up. What? You don't have to put that one up. That's just enjoyed. <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's got like a million labels and stickers and fins to attach to it. And here is the mighty thing itself. Just a massive, long <laughs> foil balloon with windows painted on it. Right, here we go. <laughs> I can't even blow I can't get the... Perhaps you're supposed to stick a tube in it or something. They haven't given you a tube. Oh, yes, they have. Ah, right, right. Now I'm understanding. So this will go in here. Come, sir. When I say go in here like that, I mean I can't actually get it to work at all. So you've got to somehow open this up and get this tube inside. How is a child supposed to do this? Um, Why would you give a child a bazooka? That, that, that again is a fair question, and not one I feel we are <laughs> equipped to answer. <laughs> I just, ah! <laughs> it's the rocket of frustration. Destroy your enemies with annoyance. My God. And finally, ah, one of my favourite Caribbean uh, flavours. Good old noodle soup mix. Mm -mm -mm. Often this is called uh, chicken flavour soup mix, but not always. And, well, there's so many jokes to do here, and yet we can't really do any of them without all the adverts being removed. But hey, it's a familiar taste and quality <laughs> since 1922. Subscribe for more. If that's not an out, I don't know what is.